Good morning, everybody. I decided that since Tuesdays are usually terrible Tuesdays, people say, that I wanted to make it a terrific Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is, as I'm doing my makeup this morning, you're going to get to see everything because I wanted to get this started. But I'm putting my primer on. Um, I thought that it would be cool if I did a twinning Tuesday. Anyone who knows me knows my sister has twins, so twins are a big deal around here. Kind of a big deal. And so I thought it would be cool when I'm showing you guys all these pictures of my makeup if I showed you how to do it too. So that's my plan for today. Doing my three drops of taffeta because I'm kind of between colors. Although my new light makes me really look like a ghost. Tone that down a little. Um, and two drops of organza. Oh, I got way too much. But it covers so good. It makes your skin feel so good. It's amazing. I did find out last night that our foundations, at least the Touch Mineral Foundation, actually, I am in Wisconsin, but man, I'm not quite that white. I might have to do something different. Maybe that's better. Um, I did find out that all of our foundations have seed kelp in them. And what that is doing is not only helping your skin, it's helping your skin not age. Who doesn't want that? I know I do. Alright, I am going to start with some definition in this white base. So again, this is my favorite trick now. I have the Spurge Cream Shadow in Grateful. And I'm just adding definition. As I said in one of my videos, it looks, at first it looks very 80s. Like Robert Palmer. Simply irresistible. But that's not what we're going for. So, put some contour in. Make a little up here. And then I'm going to take just a smidgen of the Spirited Blush, which is a limited edition, but it has a little bit of sparkly in it too. And just one, one trick I showed my mom the other night is for sure wherever you put your brush, no matter if it has um, eyeshadow or blush on it, wherever you put it first, that is where it is going to show up. So a lot of people start putting their blush right here and you really should start it back here and go forward. Um, I learned a long time ago, and like I see people wearing it here right now, but I learned a long time ago that you don't want to go any further into your face than the arch in your eyebrow. So that's the rule I use. I believe there's no rules of makeup. I tell people that all the time. So you can look like me if you want a twin. If not, do it your way. It's all good. All right, now I'm just putting on some eye primer. Because just like your face, you always want to prime your eyes. Makes them beautiful. Makes the... Um, eyeshadow last and I was going to do my addiction palette one this morning I, I have on maroons and reds so I'm gonna add some agile and that's what comes in the new presenters kit but we'll do that later 
the very end. Okay, I'm going to take the blending brush and first get a darker color. I'm actually using Chipper from the Addiction Palette one. And just going in and doing my crease of my eye. It's a dark brown. It's this one. So it's going to add a lot of color in that spot. But that's what we want because we want, or I want at least, to draw my eyes outward because I like, I don't have small eyes, small beady eyes. I don't have huge, beautiful brown eyes. So I like to pull them outward so that it makes them look bigger. Who doesn't want that? Alright, so the next color I'm going to take is also out of this. And it is called Swanky. And it is just a gold color. And I'm going to do that on my highlight. and kind of come down into my eye. I like the sparkly colors. So that's all I'm going to do for now with that. But like I said, I'm wearing burgundies and reds today. So I want to put some of that Agile, which is that deeper red color. And this is the panel that comes with the presenters kit. I went through that mm, a couple days ago with everybody. So I'm just lightly putting my blending brush in there and then I'm just going to add some red in there. I guess it's kind of a, it's more maroon. It's not really red. And that's it for that panel. Eye palette panel, whatever. You gotta know what I mean, not what I say. Isn't that true about everybody? Then I just want to add some shine right on my lid because I think it's pretty. And I always use my rose water for that, which, if you don't know what our rose water is, it is this awesome. It's like spa in a bottle. I love it. It's a toner. It freshens. It's just amazing. But somebody last night I was watching uses the setting spray. So I'm going to try that. I usually put it right on my brush, but I also learned if you just spray it on the palette, you have a little more control over what it's doing instead of spraying on your brush and everything past it. So now I'm going to go in with Sincere, which is the second lightest, but it's the one that has the shimmer. So I'm going to go in and I have my deluxe brush again. And I'm just going to tap that right on the bottom of my lid. And I'm also going to highlight up above my brow, brow bone. There's a, another presenter I follow and I was watching her last night and she was doing a dark smoky eye and she said she won't put the brow bone highlighter on because she looks like the lady of a night. Well, I think, ooh, once I blend it out, it's going to look perfect. So, I'm going back to my blending brush and just blend it all together. We'll blend this in too in a minute. My definition. Okay, so then all I'm going to do is line my eyes and of course. 
course I can't read without my glasses on. Anyone who watches me knows that's a huge problem. But I'm just going to line the outer corner and then all the way underneath because that's what I think makes my eyes pop and until somebody tells me different that's what I'm going to do. Alright, now before I put on my mascara, we're going to take care of this. I mean, it, it shows definition, but it looks a little um, dark, a little drastic. I think I'm going to have to, I got this light, but I think I'm going to have to switch it out and make it warmer so I don't look like... I'm an arctic polar bear or something. Okay, so what I'm using is the setting spray, or the setting powder, and just rubbing that over, and what that is doing is it's blending in both the blush and the definition. So I'm not just a plain white face, even though I am white. Hey, my sister's online, or my niece, and my stepbrother, and Mr. Haggerty. Don't do a report on this, please. It's not report worthy. And Erica. Oh, I miss you, Erica. I miss taco pizza. If anyone hasn't had taco pizza from Max and Janesville, it is the place for taco pizza. It also has my most favorite chicken in the world. It's broaster chicken, which comes from Beloit, Wisconsin, which is where I am at right now. But they sell it there, and out of every place I've ever had broaster chicken, theirs is the best. So, shout out to Max Pizza Shack in Janesville. If you're in town or nearby, definitely go there. They also have a lunch and an evening buffet, so if you want to try it all, that's a place to go. I used to go there every year. Well, I used to go there all the time when I lived in Janesville, but I used to go there every year on my birthday. I don't want to say this, but they used to give out free Sundays. Erica can tell you if they still do. But Oh my gosh. See, makeup isn't perfect, and sometimes you get mascara on your nose. Fixed. Alright, I'm going to take the brush I did the definition with and put some of that on the sides of my nose. I don't have a big nose, but bigger as I get older. That's weird to me. I thought our face stayed the same since we were like 12 or something. I probably heard that on the internet. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do this morning before I use my setting spray over everything is the lip stains. And I just can't say enough about these lip stains. Um, they don't drip if you tip them over, but they just come on a regular wand. I have to look beyond you to do my... Cupid's bow. Okay, so this is one layer. It's fine. You can go with it. I'm going to add two layers because I like the color to last. Now this dries just as it is. Um, people ask if it's like dries to something that sucks all the moisture out of your 
lips, it doesn't. It is just, it, it just feels like your lips. I literally have used gloss over it. I have used um, the Opulence lipstick over it. I have used actually the liquid matte lipstick, the Splash. I've used that over it too. The good thing about it is if that color goes away, you still have this color as a base. So I love it. And if you want to twinsy me today and do eye colors, you don't have to have the Addiction Palette one. The colors I used again were just a dark brown, a goldish color, and then I put a lighter shimmery color on the top. So if you have any colors that are close to that, post them below and post your pictures doing that. One coat of, all right, let's do another coat of Epic. Because right now, today and tomorrow are the final days that Epic ships your order for free. So if you buy Epic or the 3D mascara and you just want that, now is the time to buy it because you don't have to pay for shipping. Shipping is generally around $6. So if you're just buying the $24 mascara, it is the time to buy it right now. Um, you can buy the 3D mascara. If you add anything else to your order other than the mascara, the whole thing still ships for free. So it is the perfect time to do that. And if you have any questions, let me know. I would love it if you comment and share this. They're makeup tricks and they're my makeup tricks. So if you want people to see my makeup tricks, I can't even talk. Time for coffee. One of my most favorite things in the world. I'll talk to y'all later. I hope you have a terrific Tuesday.